When I think about what creates a hero, the first thing I think about is her strength. But there's a quietness about it. It's understated. Some of those qualities include the issue of courage, of stamina, of persistence, of, of uh, generosity, of humility. They have an integrity. They have a sense of consciousness. They want to help other people. Heroes are those amongst us who simply will not give up. A hero can take a possibility, a dream, a vision, and turn it into reality. The beginning of what we want to call the, now the College Fund was, uh, dates back to 1975 in terms of the history of uh, the American Indian Higher Education Consortium, which I was then director of. We did a study, and that study showed great promise to create what is now called the American Indian College Fund. The vision of the College Fund was there for many years, but it had never been implemented. And I think a lot of the tribal college presidents um, wanted a way, but they, they, the survival of these schools um, w w was so time consuming. They didn't have the time really to, to go out and proceed, particularly if it took them off the reservation. I got involved in the College Fund uh, because Anne asked me to get involved. She had been going out to the, the reservations and working with AHAC and came back with the idea that we should do something to help. And I had been involved in Indian issues out in California and I was very discouraged because I didn't know what to do to help. And I, all of a sudden when she said education, I went bingo, that's it. And by 1989, of course, uh, we, we began to move on that and act on that uh, through our various presidents and uh, we formally created it in 89 and 19, by 1990, of course, it was up and going. I received a letter on December 19, 1990 from Barbara Batone, the executive director of the American Indian College Fund, asking if Wyden and Kennedy would be interested in taking on the fund as a pro bono client. I ran screaming down the hall to Wyden's office, letter in hand. He said, Kennedy, you got to do this. That was 24 years ago, and it was a day that changed my life. And so the building blocks of establishing the College Fund came from the private sector, individual donors, corporations, foundations. Without education, you can't improve your station in life, you can't get a job, you can't get anything. And so being able to change that in a community is so important. The need is never over though, because the amount of students, not just Indian students, but, but also people of the rural community go to these schools. There's a, a growth still yet to come. At the Ford Foundation, we believe in creating opportunity for all Americans, and that includes Native Americans. And the College Fund, the mission of the College Fund, is to expand opportunities for education. And we know that education is the great equalizer. Education makes possible mobility, and mobility makes it possible for dreams to be realized. So the College Fund plays an essential, extraordinary role in the lives of Native Americans seeking educational opportunity. And for that reason, the Ford Foundation has invested in them for 25 years. I actually visited Sinte Gleska University in South Dakota about the same time our Comcast Foundation team was looking into support of the American Indian College Fund. So I was already aware of the tremendous role that tribal colleges and universities play in Indian country. What the College Fund does, providing financial resources, research, technical support, and so much more to the TCUs and their students is critical to the future of all Native Americans, to their education, their economic opportunity, and their native languages and culture. Toyota has been supporting the American Indian College Fund for 15 years. We're very proud of that. Toyota has long been a company that supports diverse initiatives, not only in the community, but with our associates as well. Diversity of thought and culture is extremely important to business. 
It's what makes us stronger as a company and enables us to meet the changing needs of our customers. I first met Cheryl Crazy Bull on a visit to Northwest Indian College for a photo shoot. At the time, she was a college president, and several of us met in her office there. She talked about the importance of place in Indian country, the elemental tie to the land. She really knows and understands the fundamentals of tribal community, and that takes an extra special kind of knowledge, in my view, or experience. She's a real leader. She's talented, she has compassion, she stands up for her rights, she has integrity, and she has a tenacity that is vitally important to a job like this. I think she couldn't have been a better choice for us to move into the future. She's had a lifelong commitment to education of Native peoples, and, and she's so smart, but her heart is in it. She took up the banner, and she charges with it. As the College Fund looks to the next 25 years, it can be confident that having Cheryl Crazy Bull at the helm during this period makes for a bright future. Midaku yepi, tayaya hipi, wachiapi wi machiapi, chante washte nape chayuzapo. Welcome, friends and relatives. I'm glad you are here. I'm Cheryl Crazy Bull of the Shichanga Lakota Oyate. I greet you with a good heart and a handshake. I am very grateful for the opportunity to introduce you to the work of the American Indian College Fund. Our mission is one that captivated and inspired me when the fund first started 25 years ago. It is a mission of hope and opportunity, and I am honored to lead our work. We are so excited to share our story with you tonight. We have much to celebrate with you. However, instead of me telling you about our work, I believe it's better for me to step back and let those that matter most to us come forward. The students you are about to meet are only a handful of the thousands we serve. They are the very definition of our heroes. The organization's collective story is a mosaic of our students' individual destinies. We believe their determination and will to succeed against all odds embodies the College Fund's truest spirit. And as you'll learn later, our future. I can't wait for you to meet them. Wopila, thank you for being with us tonight and becoming part of our inspired journey.